Hey, so today we're going to be talking about number three in numerology. And number three is actually represented by the planet Jupiter. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the three life path and karmic number. And even though there are different methods of calculating that, their meaning is pretty much the same. So karmic number becomes like the day you were born. Okay. So if you're born on the third, the 12th or the 21st of any month, you become, you're, you're that three because it's not just three it's also the calculation of uh, two and one and one and two okay so and your life path is accumulation of your entire birthday including your year um, uh, reduced down to the single digit unless it's a master number 11 22 or 33 or 44 then it stays that way but if you're a three person <coughs> um, you're pretty much the life of the party you are the entertainer you are the comedian of the party this is why most of the comedians and entertainers not necessarily actors but comedian mainly are number three people because they're able to take the joy of life and present it to other people because three is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is about positivity it's about bringing light to a scene and what is the job of a comedian is to bring light to someone's you know dull life to make you laugh and even though it's Jupiter, not Venus, ruled by, you know, Venus that signifies entertainment, Jupiter is still uh, playing that role in numerology. And so uh, <clears throat> that's why, you know, they bring this uh, light to the life. So as I was saying that Venus, you know, represents entertainment in astrology. But see, astrology meanings of the planet is quite different from uh, numerology. So as much as you might think that whatever number six is ruled by Venus, okay? So Venus, so six is also about entertainment, but three is more so about the, the, the laughter power of life, okay? But as far as the career is concerned, um, number three, since it's ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is about expansion of things, usually these guys do very well in finance, okay? As a finance, financial advisor, as a stockbroker, okay as a um uh as a professor because jupiter also is about knowledge and wisdom so teachers and professors are also number three but more so it's uh in the terms of entertainment field of com um, comedy and finance world and also since jupiter rules the uh, uh world of writing it's also and since jupiter rules you know uh, the writing process three also make good writers you know, but there's another numbers that represents the ultimate process of writing. Three is okay in writing. So you see in, in, in astrology, Jupiter is a big factor of writing, but in numerology, it's not as that big of a uh, signifactor. However, the energy is still there. So the writing processes still comes in, but not as detailed as some other numbers that will go on, you know, in the uh, several other videos that you will see. Um, however, let's uh, talk about the compatibility of uh, number threes. So three people get along with three themselves. So three and three will get along and three, six and nine get along. Okay, so in numerology, there is a set of numbers that always get along with each other like one, five and seven, two, four and eight, three, six and nine get along with each other very well. However, uh, two and three, you may think will get along, but they do not get along as well. Even though two is ruled by moon and three is by Jupiter and in astrology, uh, Jupiter and uh, moon are very good friends. But in numerology, the dynamic changes, the relationship changes, the vibration changes. So two and three are not necessarily the best of uh, companions in uh, numerology. Now, in numerology, there's something called remedies. Okay, and you might have heard of it that if you change, if your number of your name, okay, so your name also has a number if you calculate it properly. So if your name number is not matching up with your uh, life path or your day of your the day you were born, the karmic number, you can change your name vibration to bring more luck to your life because everything will be in sync. However, it doesn't really work that way because imagine if you changed a number at the age of 50, okay? Do you think at the age of 50, when you change it, you go to the court, get your paperwork and okay, your name is changed from J-O-H-N to J-O-H-N-N, okay? If a numerologist told you and you think it's gonna change everything in your life and it doesn't happen that way, why is it that it's happening that way? Because of the fact you have 50 years of built up vibration in your life 
of your old name how can you just get rid of it in one day by going to the court if this was the if this was the case if this was really happening this phenomenon would have been absolutely the first choice for people politicians celebrities to change it because you know it's going to bring luck to their life but it doesn't work that way at all and there are remedies however that does this because just changing the name doesn't work you have to bring in the new vibration and you gotta bring it up to the old name vibration and the way that happens is that for 43 days to 63 days you have to write your name your new name three times four times depending upon what your life path is you have to write it down okay on a piece of paper every day for a certain amount of days with a certain color of ink okay so let's say if you're uh, number three you would be writing more with a yellow ink so these are the things you have to know about numerology and these are the things that a lot of people do not know on the Western world even in the Eastern world do not know much about these kind of remedies and usually in um, astrology Vedic astrology and Vedic numerology they assign gemstones to you okay but remember who's got the money to afford a nice clear-cut unheated untreated gemstone where there's no guarantee it's gonna work and it hasn't I have tried it okay and, but what has worked for me is the name change vibration so this is this is why I want you to check out the web link below where you will find some of the most profound information on astrology that you never saw before it's going to change your perspective on astrology and numerology okay so definitely check out the website below and uh, I'm going to be making more videos on numerology so if you're a new person to my channel make sure you subscribe so you get to see all the numbers and all the other astrological knowledge that I'm going to be providing thank you